Thank you very much, thank you. One of the great things about having the opportunity to do it at home is we get to include a lot of the people uh, from Qualcomm, the engineers who actually make all this possible. It's gonna be an exciting day. And, uh, but first, before we start, I do wanna say that, you know, we have a lot of thoughts and, and best wishes uh, for everybody who really is impacted by this uh, unprecedented uh, situation with the coronavirus. Um, especially our employees, our suppliers, their families, and of course all of our friends uh, in China and now increasingly uh, worldwide. So uh, despite the challenges though, uh, I do think the main message for us is the industry keeps moving. There's a lot to celebrate, there's a lot to talk about. You're gonna get that today, uh, I think, in a, in a big way. What is Qualcomm? We are um, the world's leading technology innovator for wireless. Uh, and we earned the position, $61 billion in R&D. Uh, we started 35 years ago. We've worked on every major change in the industry and really led that, uh, that path. And there's nothing more significant than the path to 5G, which we'll talk about a lot today. And you'll start to see, you continue to see more and more of the important product roadmap and, and partners that really make it happen. With 5G, uh, it's really about the superior network and it disrupts everything, not just um, another update of phones. It's the, it is in fact another update of phones, but it's much more than that. It's actually disrupting every industry that you can think about from healthcare to energy distribution, to uh, retail, to the factory, to every major uh, you know, large industry will be disrupted by 5G. It's probably the biggest opportunity that we have seen for the wireless industry and for Qualcomm in the 35 years that we've, that we've been in existence. Now, to put that in perspective, how big of an opportunity is it? Um, according to IHS, it's actually $13.2 trillion just in the year of 2035 are their estimates. That's up by a trillion dollars in just two years, the estimates. That's a tremendous impact to the world economy. So the future really is wireless. If you think about the opportunity for 5G, and it's really the beginning of a multi-decade opportunity for Qualcomm and the global economy. So it's my pleasure to actually introduce Cristiano Amon. We're gonna talk about the overall state of 5G, what has what uh, happened in 2019, what is coming in 2020, and how we continue to evolve this great technology that is going to impact so many industries and actually transform not only how we do, you know, everything connected with the cloud and our mobile devices, but also is going to transform the future networks and the future of the internet. Qualcomm is the undisputed leader in 5G, but that is the result of more than two decades developing fundamental inventions and technology that are at the basis of the 5G. And the reason we are leader is because we have this belief that not one company can do everything. It's really about partner and collaborating with other industry leaders, as you're gonna see today, as we can build an ecosystem. We have been developing breakthrough technologies in connectivity and computing and RF, to fuel the 5G commercialization. And with that process, we also have the world's best, most valuable patent portfolio and licensing business. And that is a story of a company which is very focused about sharing technology and building an ecosystem so the entire industry can benefit from technology transitions such as 5G. We're on track to get 1 billion 5G connections by 2023, which is gonna be two years faster than what it took 4G to get to 1 billion connections. There's many more opportunities for us to see billions of devices uh, connected with 5G. And our job is to be focused of driving 5G to a scale, you know, across all regions and all price points. Ericsson's been with Qualcomm since the day one of accelerating 5G by more than one year, and has been part of achieving, you know, breakthroughs in words first on this technology. And I think that's clearly, you can see where the 5G leadership is. Qualcomm is a great partner to Ericsson. Most recently, we did a fantastic demo, 4.3 gigabit per second over 800 megahertz in two different millimeter wave bands. A great achievement. This is incredible to double the speed of, of millimeter wave 
and achieve 4.3 gigabits per second. One of the simple descriptions that I heard from some of our partners, actually I heard this from the CEO of AT&T that described that 5G is about bringing fiber to the phone in terms of performance. And when you look at those speeds, we're there. The name you know, that has been associated with all the 5G launches is the Qualcomm Snapdragon platform. It has become the platform of choice for 5G power leading devices across many industries. And with our portfolio of going to from the Snapdragon 8 series to the 7 series and beyond, Snapdragon is also going to be the platform that will scale 5G globally. And the design pipeline on 5G Snapdragon now is higher than 275. Across leading smartphones, mobile hotspots, consumer premise equipment uh, for mobile broadband, uh, and, and the 5G PC. In addition, it's starting to be deployed into connected 5G cars, industrial IoT devices, and much more. The GSMA uh, gave Qualcomm X55 Snapdragon 5G modem platform the Disrupted Device Innovation Award. It was selected by a number of judges, and we, we just received that award yesterday. And we're very proud. <laughs> we're very proud to announce our third generation uh, 5G modem. The X60 modem. <laughs> the X60 modem also come with a third generation RF front end, which I'll talk about that today. And is the world first five nanometer wireless chipset it is going to change one more time the deployment of 5G networks, providing full carrier aggregation across millimeter wave and sub six. I have a lot to tell you about that next. And it's going to enable all deployment modes across all spectrum, whether it's 4G spectrum, 5G spectrum, or millimeter wave spectrum, including the ability to combine you know, those spectrums. And it's going to continue to drive performance uh, with 7.5 gigabits downlink uh, speed performance and three gigabits uplink performance of 5G. And where we are right now, we're sampling the third generation modem to our partners this quarter. We have a brand new technology to announce for filters. It's called Qualcomm UltraSaw filter technology. Qualcomm is now with UltraSaw the benchmark in performance for filter technology, especially for the high bands. What I'd like to do is welcome to stage Dr. Lee from Samsung. Congratulations to you and Team Qualcomm on your very impressive launch of Snapdragon 865. <laughs> Earlier this month, we, Samsung, had our own launch of, for the new Samsung Galaxy S20, which is one of the first phones to feature your Snapdragon 865. We at Samsung truly believe that 5G has the transformative power to change everything people can do with their phones. We see this year, year 2020, as a critical moment to establish the, the role technologies like 5G will play in our lives. We are making 5G available to more people more quickly than anyone thought possible. But we must also ensure that consumers find the 5G experiences to be valuable. That is why we are working closely with Qualcomm to create new mobile 5G experiences that are easy to use and make your life better. We want to give you an idea of some of those 5G experiences that you could have building on the many things that Dr. Lee you know, outlined. And you know, 
we, we think about a live concert experience, and the reason we picked that, because it has many, in one single place, has many of the different attributes that, that of the 5G technology and how much better it is than what we have today with 4G. One of the ways to think about this is, let's say that you're in a concert or in a sports stadium, lots of people, congested environment. Typically, you don't have a very good uh, network experience over there. The data rates are not that high. What I have here is, uh, this is the uh, Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra 5G, uh, the latest uh, one with uh, our X55 modem RF solution. It's uh, connected to uh, an Ericsson base station right here in our lobby using 5G millimeter wave. And it's connected to a commercial network, a commercial uh, Verizon network, so it's all live right now. You can seamlessly go from one viewpoint to another viewpoint. Shout out and thank you to the artist, Steve Aoki. They work with us uh, to show this experience. And uh, we're very excited to see how this actually could change uh, in general how people will experience, you know, live music.